Hey guys, Dr. Jim Stepani, and I want to take time in this video to cover the importance of creatine, the form of creatine, and the timing of creatine. Now, in both pre-gym and post-gym, I have two grams of creatine hydrochloride. Okay, so that's you take pre and you take post. Why is it so critical to get creatine both pre and post? Well, if you've heard about the latest study on creatine, you actually might debate me and say, well, that study found that it was best taken post versus pre. Yes, that's what the study concluded, that it was better to take post versus pre, but they also did a test taking it pre and post. However, Let's look into the study. You don't want to believe what you read on Yahoo because journalists do not actually read the study. Now the study was done by friends and colleagues of mine, one of them, Joey Antonio, who I hold in high regard. However, the study is flawed. It's not really Joey's fault. It's the way we have to do research. This is why, as a research scientist, you understand that research isn't the end-all be-all. There's limits to what you can do in research. Now the study compared creatine monohydrate pre and post workout. Now one thing we know with creatine is that for it to be absorbed by the muscles you need insulin and what the research has shown is that if you give a fast digesting carbohydrate like dextrose, insulin drives the creatine into the muscle and you get greater uptake. Well, in research studies, if you gave creatine with a carbohydrate, then you could say, well, maybe it's not really due to the creatine, maybe it's due to the dextrose. So in research studies, you have to kind of get rid of all those other variables. If you're looking at creatine, you have to look at just creatine. So the study was just plain creatine, either pre or post-workout. That's not how you take creatine, okay? So if you're just taking creatine by itself, without any protein, without any carbs, you're not going to get any results. So because of this, the study really doesn't tell you anything. That's not how you take creatine. Um, like I said, it's not really the researcher's fault. More importantly, the results weren't statistically significant. There was no significance. All they found was a very slight trend for post possibly being better. They basically found no difference between taking it pre or taking it post. But there was a slight, what we call a trend, where, oh, it might be a little better. So they concluded it might be take, better to take it after. Well, Journalists jump on that and say, oh, well, it's better to take it post-workout. No. The study found nothing. Let me tell you about a study that compared pre and post, taken both, to other times of day. There was a study done where and they gave creatine along with a protein shake and a carb, a fast digesting carb source, which is the way you should be getting creatine. They gave it either pre and post-workout, or they gave it in the morning and at night. Well, what did they find after several weeks? Well, these guys were on a weight training program. Well, they found that the group getting the creatine and the protein and the carbs pre and post workout, which is the way you should be taking creatine, that group gained significantly more muscle mass, more strength, and they lost body fat actually, whereas the group taking it pre and post did not see those significant gains in muscle size and muscle strength and they didn't experience any fat loss. And what I've seen over a decade of giving this recommendation to take creatine pre and post, the results are far better than if you only took it pre, if you only took it post, or if you took it any other time of day. Time of day. Trust me, take you create in pre and post both times. That's why I have it in pre-gym and post-gym. It works. 
Believe me. And we're, we've, I've got feedback from hundreds of thousands of people who've switched to doing it both pre and post results significantly better. Significantly better. Four, I use creatine hydrochloride, two grams pre, two grams post. Now, with creatine monohydrate, if you're gonna do that pre and post, and that's fine, creatine monohydrate is a good creatine. Most of the research is done with creatine monohydrate. It's a very effective form of creatine. It's not absorbed as well as creatine hydrochloride. The hydrochloric acid that's added actually enhances its solubility and enhances its uptake. And research has shown that the creatine hydrochloride is taken up by the absorbed better by your intestines almost 70% better than monohydrate. So that's why you need significantly less. Two grams, I find, is the perfect dose pre and post workout. But like I said, monohydrate is fine. However, a lot of people get stomach problems with monohydrate, and that relates to the fact that it's taken up poorly. When creatine monohydrate sits in your intestine and is not taken up, well, water gets drawn into the intestines. When you have water drawn into the intestines, that gives you diarrhea, explosive diarrhea. So if you've taken some pre-workouts and post-workouts or even just a plain up creatine monohydrate and you've got explosive diarrhea and you're like, oh, I can't do creatine monohydrate. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I have creatine hydrochloride in pre and post gym. Creatine monohydrate tears up my stomach. I don't care if it's micronized or not. It tears, I, I can't do creatine monohydrate. And since I made pre and post gym for myself, I put in creatine hydrochloride. I do not want stomach issues. And if you read the reviews, particularly in pre gym, because there's over 700, post gym is so new, uh, there's not quite that many reviews yet, but you'll see that people are reporting no stomach issues. And they'll tell you, my God, every other pre workout that I've used, ripped up my stomach, sent me right to the toilet, to be frank. Not pre-gym. And that's one of the main reasons why I have creatine hydrochloride in there. Like I said, you can use either or, uh, but with the creatine hydrochloride, you need less because it's taken up so much better, causes less stomach issues, and it's a very, very effective, just as effective, if not more effective, than monohydrate. And that's what I have found in the gym over many years of using it with thousands and thousands of people. So I'll leave you with that. That's why you want creatine pre and post. And that's why you want it in the form creatine hydrochloride in both pre and post gym. For more information on the gym supplement science line as well as creatine hydrochloride, go to gym supplement science dot com.